Okay, just a little uh, more information on how these parts snap together. Um, basically, when you print the net pots, they come out like this. Um, this is a special one. It's shorter than the normal ones. This is for the units which have five ways. So, for example, this is one, two, three, and there's two on the other side. So there's five plants per level. If you are using a level that has only three, like this top level, then you can use longer pots. The other thing is there's a full wide version and there's this narrow version, which is the Jiffy Pot version. So the reason why this is narrower is because if you're using a Jiffy Pot like one of these, then it will fit directly in there and it's a good size. So um, the author of these parts has sort of thought of these conditions. Um, you could obviously scale these up or down with your design so that, for example, if you were to make a taller tower, you might not need the Jiffy Pot version, you might be able to use the regular version. Um, so, at the end, there's four different versions of this pot right now, and you could create your own. If you notice here, there are kind of uh, slide and lock mechanisms here, which basically, when you insert them into one of these levels and twist it, it will lock into place and it's extremely firm. So um, if you look at this guy right here, you see it's locked into place and it's definitely not going to fall out. Um, now if you see this white part, I actually split it in half just to be able to show you guys how this works. So um, you screw it into the top and it will stay in there firmly. Um, depending on the module, there are these little mounting studs either at the top or the bottom. And at the inside of the top of the module, you can see these notches that stick out. What those are for is when you have the next module going on top, the next module has, again, kind of mounting grooves. So basically, the top module can snap into place and then twist, and it will be quite tight and it's not going anywhere. So as for the settings to print these, I printed some on 100% infill and some on 20% infill. Either way, they've been watertight, so um, it doesn't really matter. To be honest, other than the cone piece, they don't really have to be watertight because gravity is going to tend to pull the water down, which means that unless they're super, super porous, the water is going to go down to the bottom without an issue. So the cone piece at the bottom, you do want to be watertight, obviously, because it does have to resist water coming out. But even this one that I printed with 20% infill, um, it's perfectly watertight, so not really an issue. And I used this for a couple weeks without any problems whatsoever. So as far as the colors and materials for printing, um, basically this particular unit is printed entirely with PLA, right? Um, the green is the eSun brand, the white is a generic brand, but it works perfectly fine. Theoretically, PLA is biodegradable, so what that means is that if you're going to have it outdoors and have water running through it, after several years, it will probably degrade. So if you want to print parts and keep them outside, you should probably use PETG or another food-safe and more durable plastic. Um, I did check with the manufacturer of both of these filaments to make sure they were considered food-safe PLA, but generally PLA is food-safe. 